Welcome back, everyone. This is Brian with Faith on Fire, and on this Memorial Day weekend, I have a warning for people that are Christians, also those who uh, are conservative, freedom-loving patriots of America, but also in other free nations around the world. Our sovereignty very likely may be going away for each of our nations and given over willingly by the very people we've elected to be an audience uh, in office, given over to the World Health Organization in this coming year. And uh, the WHO, or uh, WHO, as you may have seen it, uh, is trying to pass treaties that would give it the right over all its nation members, which would include the United States, that if they declare an emergency over anything they deem worthy of declaring an emergency over, they can limit people's travel, people's movement, they can dictate um, certain regulations and laws uh, that each member nation must agree to if they hand over the, the right to these emergency powers to the World Health Organization. And right now under the Biden administration, it is looking very strongly like that power will be given to them and that will, that will mean the end of our nation's sovereignty. And what a fitting time to, I'm wearing this patriotic shirt here because it's Memorial Day weekend where we uh, honor those who have fought for the freedom for our country and have died, all these veterans that have paid a hefty price to secure the freedoms that we enjoy today. And we live in a nation that seems to have forgotten that with many people who are just willy-nilly, willing to just give government complete control over their lives, thinking somehow this is going to make their lives better when it never does. It creates tyranny. And there is one right there who knows what it means to die for the freedom of others. It's Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who freely and willingly, he could have brought an army of angels to protect him. He freely gave his life over for those and said, forgive them, Father, they know not what they do. Because while we were yet sinners, he died for us. So those of us who are Christians understand the true gospel of Jesus Christ and are so grateful to our Lord and Savior that he loves us so much that he gave his life for us. We know what it is like to live in the freedom that he paid for in order that we might be saved and have eternal life and our sins forgiven. Well, the nation we live in, in America in particular, I'm speaking about, has many a sin that it is proudly upholding today. And so as we turn away from God as a nation, it is inevitable, according to Deuteronomy 28, which is written to the Israelites, but it applies to all nations, God is either going to bless those who are in obedience or curse those that are in disobedience to his word and his commandments. And that is to, not just as a nation, but individually as well. And that is God's loving kindness towards us. It's tough love, as it were, to bring us back to where the blessings are and not where we'll be on the, the wide road to destruction. God does not want any one of us to perish. So he has a system in place in order to encourage us when we're going down the wrong path to, to return. But there's a point where he turns his face away from, uh, from those. And, 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 and therefore, there is very little, if anything, that can be done other than for the ones that remain to continue to pray that the Lord would turn his face back to the nation and heal this nation and bring us back into the blessings. And so I'm very hopeful that that's, it's not too late for the United States. I know many of you watching will say it is. But right now, there are many Christians today that they have a certain definition uh, of what it means that God is sovereign. He's the supreme ruler. He's created it all. He owns it all. He makes all the rules. There are some that say that means he determines everything. No, that means that he's all powerful and we don't want to forget that. That means in his being all powerful, he, he has the ability to know all things and to control all things that he wants to control and to intervene in any way that he wants to. But he also has the ability to stand back and the authority he's delegated to us individually to let us wallow in the pig pen, so to speak, to wallow in the sinful lives we've created for ourselves and want to uphold and continue in. He will allow us to go against his will. He will allow us to even die in unbelief and go to hell. That's the freedom that God is allowing in this world. And yet there's a plan of redemption through the one Savior and the only one under heaven by which we must be saved, the Lord Jesus Christ. So we have two important things as Christians to remember 
whatever nation we belong to right today, number one, the mo most important thing is the gospel of Jesus Christ because this establishes freedom for individuals that has an eternal implication. But while we're living, we are stewards of those are our spheres of influence. We are stewards of the gifts God has given us. And that also means that we are stewards of our children and our children's children and so forth. And as we have influence in this world, let us stand for our nations to remain sovereign and not join a world system, a one world system by which in one area of controlling our lives, controlling commerce, controlling travel, controlling finances. We hand it over. Eventually, this is going to happen because the Bible tells us, let's not rush it, okay? Let's, let's stand firm and let your congressmen and your politicians and senators, whoever, let them know that you don't want them handing over American sovereignty to the World Health Organization. So if you don't do what they want you the next time, and there'll be a next time, there's going to be a world it could be global warming it could be another pandemic they'll they'll create something and then suddenly big pharma will come in once again or there'll be some other thing a massive tax for fighting against you know rising tides or something ridiculous and they are going to in particular the united states where we are the piggy bank for the world and so the the goal of much of this control grab on the world scene is in fact to steal wealth from Americans and distribute it around the world. And so to uh, put us in our place as a world power once and for all and diminish us, that is what is at stake here. And the one way that that gets uh, dealt with is handing over complete sovereignty and power over our laws, making us no longer sovereign to control our own destiny, our own laws, but to hand that over to a a board or a group of people who are not American citizens and don't have our best interest at heart. Remember, I hate to say I don't want to make this political, but Trump was like America first. Yeah, we need another president like that. Right? Trump, DeSantis, somebody. We need someone to come back in and say, let's put Americans first in America. We can do all kinds of wonderful things as people do with charities and organizations to help all those in need around the world. But when it comes to American sovereignty, don't let anyone steal it away. Because people fought and died and we're honoring them this week so that we would have that freedom. Let's never forget those soldiers who died to secure the freedom we love and enjoy today. Let's not give it away willy-nilly and let's not vote for people in office who want to give it away. Remember that. All right, so I'm praying for this nation. I'm praying for all of you. Thanks for watching, everyone. And may the peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you now and forever. Amen. Bye-bye.